All right, I got the hood cut down here now. Uh, like I told you last time, I was gonna put masking tape on there for my cut lines. And that's what I did. I got a little piece of the tape left right here. So I ended up running three quarter inch tape around the belly pan and around on the hood. And then you can see my cutoff wheel. So actually what I end up taking is about seven eighths of an inch off the hood and off the belly pan. So my side bumpers here, what these are is off of a TX, you know, 76, 79, 80, I think even is the same too. But that's a TX bumper um, cut down at the corner, you know, before it comes around the front here. So these work really good for holding these hoods in places on these uh, PDC clones. Um, did it last time, I'm doing it again. You can find these bumpers anywhere all bent up, usually bent in the front because somebody hit a tree or used it to tow the sled out of the snow. So these bumpers, you can get them super cheap if they're bent. Um, nice straight ones, pretty expensive. But I've bought a couple sets of these now from a guy in Idaho. Uh, his name's Bruce. Uh, buy a lot of parts from him. Great guy to deal with. Um, he cuts these bumpers actually down, slides them in a small box, and ships them to me. That makes the shipping a lot cheaper, too. So here's what we got going on for a fit right now. Um, I'm pretty close to where I'm going to be when I'm done here. Uh, it fits nice down on the bottom down here. Um, these, these hoods here have a little bit extra in this front corner right here but I'm not too concerned with it it looks fine um, got some nice cylinder heads sticking out of the top of it now this Michigan enduro sled from what I understand the way they cut these cylinders down so that they could be anywhere on the engine you could put a outside cylinder in the center so uh, I'm gonna end up be putting bigger heads on here I'm putting these V finned heads on here so the head will actually be out to here then right out to the edge of the hood. Uh, so it'll really fill this whole opening in. So I think I'm gonna leave the hood at the height where it is so that when the hood is on, you won't see the cut down cylinder then. The head will come all the way out to the edges of the hood and basically fill that whole hole, the whole hole in. So uh, I think I'm right where I wanna be with the, on the height. Um, the steering post support here sticks just up above the hood, kinda what I wanted. So when you stand back looking at it, you'll be able to see it. So I'm, I'm really happy with the height on the hood. So I think that's where I'm gonna end up leaving it. Let's see if I can get the hood off here one-handed. So. so I have the pipes just kind of mocked up in here. I, had a, I cut all the stingers off because they weren't heading in the right direction at all for what we got going on here. So I, I cut them off. I'll end up buying new tubing to uh, redo the stingers. I'll do turnouts coming out of the corner of the belly pan and stuff. Uh, so it should look pretty sharp. I had to cut and reposition the pipes to make them fit tighter and to follow the engine tighter. Um, so I'll probably be redoing a lot of this head stuff up here. Other people have done it. Uh, I'm gonna try and straighten all this up and make things look a lot nicer up there. Uh, ultimately, these pipes are gonna end up probably getting ceramic coated to kind of help with some of the uh, under the hood heat and stuff. And so we don't risk melting the bottom of the hood and it'll, it'll look sharp too. So uh, this sled is gonna be a rider when it's done. Um, it's not gonna be a correct sled. So really anything goes, whatever I wanna do to it, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make it look sharp. I'm gonna make it drivable. And uh, so it can be shown and ridden. It's gonna be multi-purpose, not a trailer queen by no means. So that's where I'm at now. Uh, like I said, we got the hood fitting pretty close now. Might be small adjustments yet, but um, I'm happy with it. So uh, I don't know if the last video you guys spotted this little project we got going on right now. Uh, my son's been working on this. It's an 85 IROC that he bought. And so right now he's currently restoring it. Uh, we always got multiple projects going on in the shop here. So uh, usually he's helping me with the snowmobile stuff, but this winter he's taking himself on a different project. So uh, he's 16, gonna be 17 soon. He's into driving, so this is his project now. So I just wanted to show that quick. Uh, if you're into sleds, more than likely you're into cars too. So I just wanted to show everybody that was uh, kind of in the foreground, background last time on my last video. So, but he's been working a lot on that thing. So, and we'll get back to this uh, next video, a couple more weeks. I just kind of keep picking away on this thing as I have time. So. Thanks guys, thanks for watching. Uh, got any suggestions? Uh, longer videos, shorter videos? Uh, explain more, explain less. 
gotta let me know. Uh, I just kind of put stuff up there and I'm guessing what people want to see. So if anybody wants to just suggest anything, feel free. Thanks.